In this small bag is everything you need to charge your RV battery, your car battery, your truck battery, or any other battery you happen to use when you're out camping. Except one thing, and we'll talk about that later. Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. So in the thumbnail, it said free power. You do need parts, but once you have all the parts, we're gonna use the sun to charge all these batteries because hey, some power is free, right? Once you have all the parts. What I have is this, uh, I bought this oh, about three or four, about three years ago, maybe four years ago, and I replaced it with a different one. The one I replaced it is a Victron. I like the Victron products. Uh, you can actually tell, in fact, I may change this over eventually to a small Victron. So, and so it's, a, it's 300 watts and it's a PWM which is plenty good for what I'm gonna use it for. I'm, I'm not looking for super speed or anything like that. Uh, this is gonna be really portable, and you'll see that once we sh look at everything. And as you saw there, it fits in a pretty small bag. Everything but the solar panel. So you will need a solar panel also. I will list all the parts. I will try to find this also. Um, I don't know if it's still made or not. They may have a new model. I'll find something that rates really well. Uh, there's a, there's a, Renergy makes stuff too that's fairly reasonable. I, I don't think I paid a whole lot for this. I don't even remember right now. I've been out camping and I use, I'll show you the, all this, will, I'll show all this to you later and it'll make more sense maybe. But I use a, uh, a battery that I have. It's a 100 amp hour Power Queen. It's the mini, so it's real easy, real small, light. And I use that to run multiple things. I've, I've run, I just did a video on a diesel heater. I'll put that down on the, the description if you guys want to look at that really really nice super easy to use one which has a phone app which makes it even easier but i also use my i hook my radios to this a lot of times when i take my motor this is usually kept in my motorhome it can be a backup if for some reason my batteries go dead i have 300 amp hours in my motorhome i usually don't have a problem with that I already have solar on top of the roof. I, I can I have a Y to it so I can add solar to it. So I usually add an extra 200. So I have around 300 going into that. And usually, I, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I have noticed lately. I've been turning my batteries off on my motorhome and I've noticed that there's no draw when it's setting. Uh, the Victrons are really nice. They give you 30 days of what your system has done. And I did notice that when the batteries were left on, every day it cycled back and forth which is probably not a bad thing either it always most of the time sometimes in the winter it wouldn't quite charge back up but pretty much does most of the time if the battery is already up but what i notice when it's off there is no cycle it doesn't use any energy well anyhow let's uh let's put this together i'll show you what i'm going to do and we'll put it together and then we'll test it i'm hoping i get some sun today it's been raining here a lot and when it's not raining clouds but we should get something even with clouds. So let's check it out. Okay, so here is how everything is packed in the bag. Let me show this to you. This is a basically a lunch bag that you, uh, like my daughter uses them for the, the kids for taking their lunch in. So it has room up here. I forgot to put something in there, a couple fuses. I'll close that up, all right. So what we have is the cables I made up. These. We'll hook to the Bouge RV. This is another one that I made up and purchased, or I purchased it, but I put the end on it. This end here, okay, the XT60. This is for the solar. Most of my solar have this connection here and I put the XT60 on the end. And then this is the Bouge RV. This is just a PWM. It'll be plenty fine for what we're using. And this is actually padded. It's kind of an insulated deal for keeping stuff cool or not getting hot. So let me show you each part individually now. All right, first of all, this is a nice little lunch box. It's kind of a lunch box, but it's soft-sided. Has an area here where you can put stuff inside. And it has a pouch inside. And I have a few things in there already. This was already there. I'd used this before. Now I bought this a few years ago for my trailer. I was just getting started with it. And since then I've upgraded to a different, a better controller for the trailer that will tell me more information about when the battery's charged and everything. And I will, we'll talk about something like that later. But in the box you have, a, it's a PWM. 
It's made by Bouge RV. I did buy this myself, um, and it worked. It worked pretty good. It's pretty easy to set up, and it's not too big. Now, it came with the instruction booklet, and I have wrote a few things here for different batteries on the thing because it covers all batteries, basically. And this is the book. All right, now it came with these, and what these are to do is to put on your wires so it keeps your wires from fraying out and getting all over the place. It just has this nice little flat part to go inside the controller. So I'm going to use those. So we'll install those on some uh, wires. I'll show you the wires here in a minute. So that all goes in that box. That's nice. Now I bought, uh, I wanted to be able to hook this to my solar panels. I have more of these hookups than anything else. And then it didn't come with anything on the other side. So I'll put some XT60s. I did tape everything up because I don't like them just flaying around everywhere. Now I bought these, these are jumper cables so I can hook easily to the battery. With some of the nicer ones I found, these are all 10 gauge. The other ones were 10 gauge also. In retrospect, you might not want to go 10 gauge. 10 gauge is a little bit big for these, even 12 gauges. I believe these are probably for um, 14 or 16 gauge, but I made it work. You, you can make it work still. You have to solder these, but these were already on this one. Has a fuse and uh, this works really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match everything up to XT60s and, and I'll explain just in a second how I'm gonna do that. Okay, I forgot to film before I put the wire. I was gonna use like a six inch piece of wire, but I think these are about eight inches, just so it would give me a little more room. Now, if you'll notice, these plug into each other, but they don't, they won't plug into each other. They don't go together. I did them separately. These are what comes out, and I'll, I'll install them in just a minute and show you, but these come out of the controller. This way I can't hook it up backwards, as long as I got everything right. So let me hook it to the uh, controller and I'll show you how all this is going to work. All right, so I installed these. Be real careful, they're kind of hard to get in there. I did uh, a lot of heat shrink on here just to protect things. And I think it made it a little bit harder to get it in. I may have to trim it off a little bit. As you can see, this has one fitting on it. This has the other fitting. So I can't, now that I have everything hooked up correctly, I can't hook it up backwards. So basically what you're gonna do is this one's gonna pull this up. This one's gonna plug into here, like that. And then this one's going to plug into here like that. So now I have everything hooked up, ready to go. All right, this is what kind of spurred me on doing this because I was out one time, I was using this battery for various things like radio work and stuff like that. Now I have it hooked up to where this is for a diesel heater. I just did a review on this diesel heater. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description. Really, really nice diesel heater. If you're thinking about diesel heaters, this one was pretty cool. I've got power poles on it because we know that the ham community loves power poles. And then just to be good, just to cover most bases, I just have a, a really nice cigarette lighter plug, okay? And I got it taped up. I didn't have my regular black tape at the time, but I taped everything up. Not that it was gonna do anything anyhow, but. So this is what spurred this on. I was out one time, I was using this, and I wanted to top the battery off just to make sure I was getting, you know, full power out and then I didn't run it all the way down. It lasts quite a while on that diesel heat of this thing will probably last four or five days. Now I can just clip these on here. And when I, once I hook this, solar controller up to something. If you look at this, maybe we can see this. I have everything hooked on here right now. But it's showing 13.4. Oh, I did for a second there. Now it's going through its cycle. 13.4 volts. So we'll hook all this up later and hook it to a... If we get some sun today, we've been in rain lately and not a whole lot of sun. But this will work really good. Now let's just see if we can get a solar panel in here and we'll hook it up and see uh, how it works. Right, you guys are gonna be able to see the screen, but you're gonna to have to trust me. We just got some sun here. And it does say to set the battery first and then the, the, the uh, solar panel. But if I hit this right now, I'm at 13.5. That's up from 13.4, and I can barely read it. It's at 1.5 amps right now. I'm pretty sure this is set on lithium because that's what I used it on last. 
I will go ahead and check that. But there's a menu system and all that stuff. It says not to do more than 55 volts. So I'm going back and forth because the sun is really in and out right now. But uh, 1.2 and it's showing 13.5. So I'll probably leave this set up and charge the battery and see how well it does. But I think all in all, this is a win. Like I said, if you guys want to do something a little better, I'll put a link to a Victron in there also, an equal Victron. Then I'll find, try to find a couple other models that are at least a, a brand name. And I'll even put like a, a really cheap one in there for you guys if you really want to go, because you don't really need a whole lot here. And it's all going to be out and not mounted someplace. So if you have a problem, it's really not going to cause a big problem. I am running a 100 watt solar panel. That's from Power Queen also. It's actually one of the nicest, easiest to set up ones I've ever used. It's more solid than a lot of them. I'll put something like that down in the uh, description also. A couple of different brands, different prices. So I think this is going to be a really good setup for when I go camping. Even in my box trailer, I have I have multiple batteries that I take with me a lot of times. I have 200, 200 amp hours in there. And there's not a whole lot in that that needs it. But I don't always want to run everything off my trailer batteries. I use the batteries in the trailer for my lights, my heat, and whatever else I might want to do. So I don't really want to use my radios on there if I don't have to. I can. I also have battery boxes for radios. But I've been using this 100 amp hour power queen for quite a while just on my radio because it's, it's super simple. I have the power pole hookup and everything. So hopefully this works well, and I, eventually I may upgrade this to a Victron, uh, maybe just another 20 amper like this one. What's nice about the Victrons, when they go into float, float mode, and it tells all this on an app on your phone, but it will tell you, it'll go into float mode. It has bulk mode and there's a, there's a mode in between, I forget what it is, but when it goes to float, that means your battery is just being maintained. It's fully charged and maintaining. So it does kind of give you an idea of where your battery's at once it's charged. So hopefully this video was of some kind of value to you guys. If you did like it, don't forget to hit that like. And if you are new here, hit the bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos. If you like content like radios, batteries, and all kinds of camping stuff. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Thank you for joining me today. I know your time is valuable. 73 all, and hope to catch you guys on the airwaves.